welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is Time Value of Money Amortization Schedule. We have four videos about Time Value of Money, Present Value, Future Value, uh, Annuities, and, time va and Amortization Schedule. The other three videos, they are in our video description, as well as our Excel file. We are working with only one Excel file for all of our videos. It will be easier for you guys. So when we talk about time value of money, a dollar or any other currency received today is worth more than a dollar or any other currency received in the future. Invested money earns income over time or pay income up over time. We have three factors affecting the time value of money. Principal amount, amount of the investment or borrowing. It can be a single lump sum, a huge amount of money at the beginning or at the end, or annuity, a small amount of money uh, after the end of each period. That is what we have in a amortization schedule. Number of periods, length of time from beginning of investment until termination, interest rates, annual percentage earned on the investment, we have simple interest only on principal amount. Usually we don't work with simple interest in time value of money. And compound interest, assume all interest earned will remain invested at the same interest rate. So let's go to our Excel file. You just purchased a new home and got a mortgage, but you need an amortization schedule to follow your payments. The mortgage conditions are Total $350,000. You will pay $2,800 per month. And our period is 20 years or 240 months. The first thing to know is how much is our effective interest rate? Usually, the, the banks, they show you, you the face interest rate, but it is not the effective one. So, First of all, let's find our interest rate. So insert function. Usually you go here and let's go to financial type R. That is our rate. So let's do it. Number of periods, 240 months. PMT is our payment. So we will be paying negative 28. 100. PV is the amount of the money you will be receiving for your mortgage. That is 350. FV, it would be the payment that you would be doing at the end of the 240th month. Nothing here. We don't have any uh, future payments or any ending payments. Type, zero or blank if your first payment is at the end of the first period. That is usually how mortgage works. Or number one, if your payment would be at the beginning of the first period. So here, our interest rate is 0.62%. And let's do it. At the end of the first month, your, your payment will be 2800 you will have the same payments over time. So let's fix it, F4. So you will have the same payments over the month. Carrying value is how much of principal you already own. So the, at the end of the, or today on month zero, you owe $350,000. However, at the end of the first month, you will not be uh, owing only 347 because you will pay interest. So this 2800 part of it will be interest, and then the remaining will be the principal. So let's delete it. How much the principal? Payment less interest. We don't know the interest yet, but we will know it. And then the new carrying value will be the carrying value less principal. It is still 347 because we don't have the interest yet. How do we find the interest? 
Earning value at the end of the last month, so 350, times the effective interest rate. And we fix this effective interest, he, interest rate here because it will be the same over time. Oh, wow, 2100, almost everything on your first period will be interest. That is because uh, you will be, uh, you own a lot, so you will be paying a lot of interest. If you go down here, you will be paying less interest and more principal. And as time goes by, you will be paying more principal and less interest because your carrying value will go down. And let's go and paste here. The Excel has some functions to split the interest and principal, but this method here is much easier. And it is the same uh, schedule here that you can use on financial accounting for bonds. Uh, to check the uh, discount and premium bonds and so on. We will have a class about it soon, probably in late September or early October. Okay, so if we are not on this uh, time of the year yet, and September or October 2020, because this video will stay on YouTube forever. So if you are not there yet, just wait some weeks or if you already are there just go to our financial accounting or intermediate accounting playlist and the video will be there and we will be using the amortization schedule too so okay how do we feel it until the month 240 that is quite easy now we copy here and paste until the end and let's double check here our carrying value must be nothing at the end of our mortgage so yes our amortization schedule is right how much we will pay effectively so let's sum it Total payment will be 1672. Let's go and paste here. We will pay almost two homes. 350,000 principal. That is the same principal that we have here. So yes, our amortization is right again. And 322,000 of interest. Okay. So yeah, 0 0.5. 6 per month is a small one. Uh, not that small. But, okay, here we are. This is our amortization schedule. And by the way, we have here the annuities video, future value video, and present value video. Okay? So, guys, thank you so much. So, please subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. Three videos per week, usually. Uh, and like our video, please. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. And also, I was forgetting it. Like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. Have a very nice day and God bless you.